In this tutorial, I will be cake mapping a five tier cake in MadMapper projection mapping software. I will give a brief introduction to the process of projection mapping before showing you how to set up your projector and map your cake surfaces. If you're new to the channel, I make projection mapping tutorials and projects, so please consider subscribing if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoy it. I have a full HD projector connected to my MacBook Pro. The projector is connected with a mini display port to HDMI cable. The cable runs out from my Thunderbolt 2 display output, which supports mini display port on my MacBook Pro, and goes into the HDMI connection in the back of my projector. Each of the cake tiers are five inches high. Moving from top to bottom, the diameters of the tiers are 8 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, 14 inches and 16 inches. This is the size I'm recommending based on the fact that I think its proportions are attractive and the surface area that requires video content is manageable with a full HD projector. I list all my materials and kit, including the projector models, at the link in the description. I will make the guide I'm going to use available for free for you to download, as well as some video content so that you can follow along with this tutorial. First of all, create a quad surface. The test card checkerboard is applied by default. Then let's check that our projector is set up as our output. We need to go to Manage Outputs, which is identified by this little projector icon. Here it says Projector 1. I'm going to click on it and in the output destination, check that my projector is selected. To start outputting from the projector, go up to output and select full screen mode. Going back into manage surfaces, I'm going to make a bit more space in our work area. I'm going to assume that you are new to projection mapping and just take a moment to explain the principles behind what we will be doing. This window on the left is our input window. In here we dictate what is being input into the projector in terms of media. On the right is the output preview and in here we control how content is output from the projector. If I pull around this quad in the input view, Notice how the output changes. Can you see how by using this box, we are controlling what is being sent to the projector? And then over here in our output, we can manipulate these handles to pull around and distort the output from the projector. If I go up to output and toggle on the cursor, we can see the crosshairs of our mouse position in the output, which can be helpful for getting our bearings. So to summarize, on the left is our input, where we define what's going into the projector. And on the right is our output, where we manipulate what comes out of the projector. I'm going to import a guide by going to File, Import Media, and navigating to my guide. I was able to make this guide using the information I already have about the height and width of each of my cake tiers. As I said, you are welcome to use this guide if you are using a cake with the same dimensions as me. If you are using a cake with different dimensions, click the card to watch a tutorial on how you can make your own guide. Now my guide appears over here in the media library under images. I will be mapping this cake using one full HD projector, although I generally recommend using at least two because you're able to put double the pixels to work to produce your projected image which inevitably looks crisper, more detailed and better overall. However, for the sake of keeping things simple for this introductory tutorial, I will be using just one projector. I have more tutorials that show you how to map a cake with two projectors in MadMapper if this is something you want to do. The projector needs to be positioned in front of the cake with the center of the projector's beam roughly pointing towards the center of the cake as much as possible. The controls up here let you maximize or arrange your views. These double bars show your input and output side by side. This left hand bar shows you just your input. This right hand bar maximizes your output. This changes whether your views are top and bottom or side by side. With your surface selected, 
double-click the cake mapping guide from the material library to assign it to that surface. We will be focusing on just the input for a while, so let's maximize our input view. Rename this surface to Tier 1 and pull the surface around the top tier by clicking and dragging on the corner handles. With Tier 1 still selected, go to Edit and Duplicate Selected Surface, or use the shortcut which is listed alongside. Rename this new surface to Tier 2 and pull this surface down and adjust it to the second tier. Duplicate Tier 2 to create Tier 3. Do the same thing by pulling it down and adjusting and so on. Select all the tier surfaces either by clicking and dragging over them or using Command A. Click the folder to create a group with those surfaces automatically inside and call it Cake. Now we can select all the surfaces in the group just by clicking the group heading. With all the surfaces selected, in the surface parameters turn on Mesh Warping and increase the subdivision on the Y axis to 2. Now head on over to our output view. Still with all the surfaces selected, click and drag on the transform handle to pull down the scale of all the tiers until they are roughly the height of a single tier. This saves us having to scale them all down individually. Now turn off the visibility of all but one tier. Zoom in if necessary by using your mouse scroll wheel or by two finger zooming on a trackpad, or by using the shortcut Command plus and minus on a Mac, Control plus or minus in Windows. Pull the control points of the Tier 1 surface onto the corners of your physical cake. Make sure to pull on the smaller subdivision control handles and not these larger corner handles. Turn on Tier 2 and do the same thing, pulling the small subdivision control points into position on the physical surface of your cake. Now with the mapping done, we can select our group and double-click on any of these generators or materials in the library on the right to create a huge number of unique looks. For every material, there are parameters that you can tweak and customise to add further variation. or you can bring in content that has been specifically designed for the cake, like this particle cascade. I've made this animation freely available for you to use at the link in the description. I have lots of other cake mapping video animations that you can purchase in my store. If you want to learn more about using MadMapper, check out some of my other tutorials. I have videos on how to use multiple projectors in MadMapper, as well as how to use scenes and cues to automate a sequence of videos with set durations, transitions and effects for a show. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below and I'll do my best to respond. 
It would be amazing if you would consider liking this video and sharing it if you think it would help someone else. Also please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you get notified about my future cake mapping and projection mapping videos.